have just left Quabba Station and they're driving north towards Coral Bay, which is about 250 kilometres away. Coral Bay is a small tourist driven town on the Ningaloo Reef. It is a popular winter destination for holidaying Australians and foreign tourists alike. We are surprised by the amount of people here, but it has been nice to get in the water for our first dive in a tropical climate. to be weightless, exploring a world of relative silence, diving into the depths. I just couldn't wait to see what this extraordinary paradise had in store for us. And it's so amazing to be here now. We spent last night on the highway between Coral Bay and Exmouth. Now we are on our way to what will be the most northern point of our trip, Cape Range National Park on the northwest Cape. Cape Range National Park is situated on the Northwest Cape, approximately 1300 kilometres north of Perth. Adjacent to the park is the World Heritage listed Ningaloo Reef, one of the world's longest fringing reefs and a thriving marine environment with over 250 species of coral and 500 species of fish. During the winter months, the local population almost triples as people travel from colder regions to soak up some warmth in the tropical climate. Accommodation in the area is limited, which helps to preserve the natural environment. We booked six weeks in advance to secure a campsite. It is not something we are used to doing, but now that we are here, we can see that it is necessary to preserve this beautiful location. I can't believe how good I feel camping in the National Park. 
I feel so at home and so deeply relaxed. There are fewer people here compared with the East Coast. This place is dominated by nature. The animals, the trees, and the spirit of the land is strong. I feel very welcome here. All I want to do every day is go diving. I've been so eager to explore all of the different dives here. I'm always hoping to see sharks and turtles, and I just love swimming along with the larger schools of fish. I am completely awestruck by the spectacular array of marine life surrounding me. It's an absolute delight to the senses and I just can't get enough. The other day we found this young singing honey eater lying on his back in the car park. We assumed that he had been hit by a car Eat and was much. dead, but it turns out that he was a runt that had been birded from the nest. He was in a bad way, but we've been nursing him back to health. He loves his flies, which is convenient as there's no shortage. Mm -hmm. He's quite a little character. There is something special about the land here. The dry rocky hills of Cape Range are full of water-worn gorges and are covered with dense spinifex grass. There is an earthy sandalwood-like scent that hangs in the air. It is such a harsh environment. But beneath its beauty, there is something more, something intangible that resonated deeply with us, a powerful grounding energy.
The diving that we've been doing so far has been amazing but I've been really keen to get into deeper water and the other day we were camped at Osprey Bay and it looked like it would be a great spot for a dive if we were to paddle out on our surfboards to the outer reef just so we could get some deeper water and explore what was out there. Um, and on this particular day it was forecast for the wind to drop out at about midday so we thought that's when we'll do it, we'll wait till the wind drops out and we'll paddle across. It turns out it was actually 4.30 in the afternoon by the time the wind dropped out. When we um, paddled across to the outer channel on our longboards, I was quite surprised by how beautiful and calm and still it was. It was just magic. The light in the late afternoon um, had this sort of golden, beautiful golden colour to it and were, the water was like a mirror. Charlie was really keen to film and get this shot because it just looked amazing and the camera wouldn't turn on. Visibility was actually really bad because the sun was getting so low on the horizon and it was shadowed by the outer reef. Um, you couldn't see very far and it was quite murky and I remember diving down next to the reef and looking out into the channel and it was all gloomy and cloudy and dark. Then all of a sudden I saw this shape coming towards me out of the gloom and I felt really peaceful and really still because it was such a graceful and beautiful animal and it was a beautiful little four foot white tip reef shark. I was really surprised at how peaceful and calm I felt so I came up and I told Charlie, Charlie there's a shark and he finally um, came down, the camera still wasn't working and when he, as soon as he dove down, it frightened the shark off. But it didn't matter because within a few minutes there was a black tip reef shark that came in. And so I was diving down and just enjoying having deep water uh, for a change and just enjoying myself. And Charlie was staying close to his board, he was up ahead of me. And I just kept glancing back out to the deep channel just to make sure <laughs> that there was nothing there. And Charlie stopped all of a sudden and I caught up to him and he said, oh, there's a shark. He said, I've just seen a, a bronze whaler. And then it appeared straight in front of me in the opposite direction and I thought, oh, okay. And I decided to swim towards it. Um, it was quite a big shark and I thought if I swim towards it, it'll know I'm not scared of it. So I swam towards it and it turned away and, and took off into the channel again and I came up and said Charlie it's over here now <laughs> and then went back towards him and and then it came in again and looked at us and went away and then it came in again and looked at us and went away and came in again <laughs> and each time it came in and looked at us it would it would appear to be getting more agitated <laughs> so um, I just had the feeling it's probably not a good idea to let your guard down here like just just keep watching it the first chance that it went away long enough for me to talk to Charlie I said I, I don't like its body language I think it's time for us to go <laughs> so we I was really happy that we had our long boards then to jump back on and paddle across the channel because um, the shark was about the same size as our boards so <laughs> it was amazing I'm so happy that I did that dive just for the sake of seeing this shark and, and we later identified it as being a dusky whaler so it wasn't a bronze whaler it was a dusky whaler uh, it was about eight foot so it was pretty special and um, so nice to have it come so close to us and and look at us and you know what are you um, that was really cool it's a real shame the camera wasn't working <laughs> 
Our entire experience at Cape Range has been incredible. The landscape is unlike anything we have seen and the reef is just mind blowing. This is a place to reconnect with your roots and to totally immerse yourself in mother nature. We are on our way back south now, stopping in at our favourite places on the way. Unfortunately, our honey eater friend didn't make it. He had an infection and we were unable to find a carer in Exmouth. He did keep us entertained and busy for a good week though. We have a 6,000 kilometre drive back to the east coast, but we are already planning our trip back to Western Australia. What are you doing? <laughs> uh oh, I don't want to see the backside. Ah, green that away! He's <laughs> gonna pop in our van. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 